नाम संकीर्तन यशु सर्व पापनाशनम प्रणाम दुक्ष शमनम तंग नमि हरि पर नाम संकीर्तन यशु नाम संकीर्तन यशु सर्व पापनाशनम प्रणाम दुक्ष शमनम तंग नमि हरि परम गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा परमश जगत गुरु टोल दैट वेन अ डॉक्टर बिकम फेलियो ऑलमोस्ट फेलियो ही कैन नॉट सेव द पेशेंट अल्टीमेटली is going to give some coramin or some special a uh, poisonous tablet bees body <laughs> big power in that the ultimate result the ultimate treatment all, all treatment failure gauri goshtipati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshtami jagat prabha परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दैट वेन ए डॉक्टर इज टोटली फेलियोर ही से ऑल ट्रीटमेंट डाउन नो ट्रीटमेंट गिविंग एनी रिजल्ट फाइनली डॉक्टर इज बाउंड टू अप्लाई कोराम और सम सम टैबलेट सम टैबलेट विच इज कॉल पॉइजनस टैबलेट अल्टीमेटली so big power is there in that tablet ultimate treatment that's why do sankirtan naam sankirtan is always effective in any yoga any time any moment any yoga but still uh for the special kali kali yoga by watching the painful condition of people people of this kali yuga naam sankirtan has been prescribed because all power bhagwan already given in nama all shakti naam naam akari bahuda ni jo sarvabhakti stattar vidha नाम नाम अकारी बहुत निज सर्वभक्ति तत्वित स्मरणेन नियमेन काल फलो दैट्स वाई ऑल पावर ऑफ भगवान गिवन इन हरिनाम सो फुल पावर इज देयर इन हरिनाम एंड हरिनाम संकीर्तन सो प्रभा स्पीकिंग सिनाम संकीर्तन इज इज महा महाध्यान महा ग्रेट मेडिटेशन महाध्यान महायोग्य महा अर्चन ऑल फॉलो संकीर्तन रूप महाध्यान महायोग्य महा अर्चन तत्त विषय परिपूर्ण होता प्रभा स्पीकिंग all the other all the other way of doing yagya for, for bhagwan or meditation for bhagwan or archan for bhagwan but the final result i mean complete result can be had only by naam sankirtan so proba speaking one should never be indifferent one should never be indifferent in his naam sankirtan so are those who are less intelligent they are going to follow some other way to get benefit i mean mangal but in this way they are going to lose everything they cannot get mangal because in shrimad bhagavatam it is written i already told 
And now I can speak another sloka. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangu Pangu Ashtu Parshadam Jagoi Sankitano Prayer Jajanti Sumedhasa Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangu Pangu Ashtu Parshadam Jagoi Sankitano Prayer Jajanti Sumedhasa So in Sankitan Jago Kalu Kalika special. But all, but for Ada Juga, but for, but for Ada Juga also, but for Ada Dud, Sankirtan is very effective as a topmost medicine, the divine panacea for this Kali Yuga. That doesn't mean in Ada Yugas it is not effective, all Yugas. But the point is that in Sattva Yuga having one lakh year, Lifespan in Teta Yuga 10,000 years, in Dapar Yuga 1,000 years, and in Kalika only 100 years, not even that. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, everybody going away. So, within this short period of time, how they can do meditation, how they can do start, you know, this is not practical. That's why, spatially, it is effective. So, From Vyad Bhagavadam Brito, we started discussing about some points, especially how we can see one devotee is feeling a put into, a devotee is already put into a painful situation. Somebody can put question, even though he is doing Sankirtan. So, I was giving answer that this kind of pain, painful situation they purposely create. Because by Nam Sankirtan, there is no possibility of any Parabdha Karma Bhoga Mane. He need not suffer. Tanyamo Sankirtan no Matrato Akhila Bhakta Hareheshu Hatu Dukshadu Shanaha Ke Chittatapi Prabhubad Kipakula Lokano Sadachar Mimam Prashashati. Here it is written by Kunta Parshat. All the Vaikunta Parshat they are speaking. Well, see Nam Bhagavan Nam Sankirtan can cut. Any amount of, you know, result of sinful activities, any kind of defects, any kind of duksha, suffering, you can cut. It is very easily. Bhagavan Nam Sankirtan cut all different kind of results of sinful activities or different defects or painful situation, it can be solved. But still, some devotee, they are so merciful like their master, I mean Bhagavan. So out of their mercy, Out of their merciful attitude, sometimes some devotee, out of their merciful attitude like their Prabhu Bhagavan, they purposely accept that kind of, that kind of situation. Purposely, purposely they accepting painful situation so that Future generation can have the scope to teach, learn something. Sadhacha Sikha I already told yesterday the painful situation of Yudhishthir Maharaj is not at all painful. First point, a devotee never feels he is in trouble. 
possible way. Second point, devotees, some devotees having bhakti inside their heart, but they don't like to show it in front of public. That's why they like to hide themselves, like to exhibit some negative lila, like I am suffering. So, we already discussed The, the painful situation of Bharat Maharaj. I wanted to explain yesterday. And in the commentary, Sanatana Goswami writing, Sanatana Goswami writing, Bharat Maharaj wanted to exhibit us his painful situation purposely, first point, to hide his bhakti, already having. Second, to teach those newcomers is very good. So he can teach. So that he can teach, that's why he is behaving that way. Actually, he is not foolish. So, the topmost treasure, bhakti, usually those pure devotees, they like to hide. They don't like to express it in front of the public. So, purposely they are going to suffer and they like to expose themselves as very poor, low caste or in different kind of painful situation, they purposely create. Only by the Nam Sankirtan of Bhagavan, only by the help of Nam Sankirtan of Bhagavan, everything is possible. Everything is possible. So they can easily cut their, easily, very easily they can cut their, you know, anartha, very easily. They can cut, but they are not doing, anartha is not there actually, anartha is not there, but they want to prove that we are in the material world, we are suffering to explain. Because they are devotee. How anartha is possible in them? So anartha is not there, but still they like to express it. So they like to hide the bhakti treasure they are gathering. At the same time, they like to exhibit, you see, our painful situation. So you don't try to make any mistake. mistake. Tannamo Sankirtana Matrato Akila Bhaktaha Bhakta Harihe Shu Shur Hatu Duksha Dushana Tannamo Sankirtana Matrato Akila Bhakta Harihe Shur Hatu Duksha Dushana Kechit Tathapi Kechit Tathapi Pabhubad Kripakula Lokano Shadachar Imam Prashashati. They are purposely exhibiting they are purposely they are purposely exhibiting their situation is very painful. Virtually they are, they are not suffering. A devotee can never suffer. A devotee can never suffer. It is not possible. That's why in Shastra it is written, No Janma Karma Bandhanam Vaishnava Anancha Vidyati. A Vaishnava cannot have, a Vaishnava cannot have this kind of result of bad activities. Not. 
न जन्म कर्म बंधन वैश्यमान च विद्वाते सुनिश्चित सो दैट इज वाय दुखो दोषम भरतादयु यथा दूर दूत दोषंच जुधिष्ठिरादयु ब्रह्म सभा ब्रह्म सभीति नृगादयु अमला प्रदर्शय सव्यवहार तो जनान समबॉडी आई हार्ड समबॉडी पासिंग रिमर आई सॉट आई हार्ड समबॉडी पास टू पास दिस कैन ऑफ रिमर वॉट परीक्षित महाराज इज वेरिंग द गोल्डन क्राउन एंड इन द गोल्ड देर इज काली That's why Parikhit Maharaj was bound to make a mistake. Some Maharaj, big big Maharaj, they are passing this kind of remark. I saw. I saw them passing this kind of remark. I wonder. They say, the golden crown they are on the head of Parikhit Maharaj, and in the gold already coal is staying. So Parikhit Maharaj. was bound to make some wrong make some mistake and accordingly he was cursed and uh, accordingly he was cursed and uh, finally he was bound to sit in front of shuktal khetra at the bank of ganga to hear hari katha from subhimu but all wrong statement actually परीक्षित महाराज महाभागवत फॉर द पास्ट फ्यू वीक्स आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सिम ऑफ प्योर डिबोटीज महाभागवत ये स्टार्ट ऑल्सो आई वॉज स्पीकिंग त्रिभुवन अभिभवेति अकुंट स्थिति अजितात्म सुराद विर्भिमिग्रात इज द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ श्लोक डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ श्लोक वी आर डिस्कसिंग so according to the symptom parikhit maharaj already about already about parikhit maharaj so many time in bhagavatam you can find esho mahabhagavata about parikhit maharaj it is written that parikhit maharaj is mahabhagavat it is written it is written in bhagavatam esho mahabhagavat not one time three Three, four time. So, what is the symptom of Mahabharata? No thirsty, no hungry attitude, no angry attitude. Nothing can be there. Nothing can be there. Not possible. But still, nothing possible. so how we know we know sarvabhuteshu ya pashyat bhagavat bhav atmanah bhutani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavat uttama we know it very well then after still after that we see parikit maharaj playing such kind of leela that parikit maharaj asking for water not getting any water from shamik muni it is one kind of so is it possible for parikit maharaj to insult a vaishnav is it possible for parikit maharaj to insult a vaishnav sadhu guru vaishnav or rishi muni how possible because whole destiny of you know pandavas they are in favor of bhagwan sri krishna they love bhagwan they are always respecting rishi muni sadhu guru vishnu all how is possible for him to insult that is the main question 
Here we find Parikhit Maharaj become angry and uh, wanted to put a dead snack in the neck of Shamik Muni and gone. He was feeling thirsty. He was feeling tired. So he is not getting any honor or respect from the Samik Muni, not water, nothing. But it is not possible. Vishnu Chakudiva writing, all other commentator writing, it cannot so happen that Parikhet Maharaj can insult one Rishi. Not possible. Whole destiny, never, never they don't. Then how possible? Even Parikhet Maharaj himself, he himself was puzzled. When he came back at home, when he came back at home, he was just puzzled remembering the case. How it was possible for me to insult Rishi? And after that, when the cards of Siringi Rishi, I mean the son of Samik Rishi, came to Parikshit Maharaj, he was very happy. He started speaking, well, it is very good that I have done some mistake, offense, so I am getting punishment, it can be neutralized, so it is very good, but actually not so. The crown was given by Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself. Follow. The crown was given by Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself on the head of Yudhishthir Maharaj. On the head of Yudhishthir Maharaj. So, what Krishna giving, what Krishna giving, how it is possible that Koli can stay there? So, it's not that. So, what is the Siddhanta? Vishnu Chakudu are writing, all other commentators, they are writing, it can be possible only if we can realize the situation. I mean the desire of Bhagavan. Bhagavan wanted to preach. Bhagavan, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna wanted to preach. Wanted to preach Bhagavad Dharma extensive way. So one platform he wanted to make, that is this platform. I mean... By the desire of Krishna, Jogamaya, Jogamaya arranged the situation. Jogamaya arranged the situation accordingly. So, he was cursed by the son of Samik Muni, Siringirishi. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan by Jogamaya. Otherwise, we cannot get, otherwise we cannot get, you know, we cannot get Bhagavad Mahapurana so sweet way, very nice way. We cannot get. So for the extensive preaching of Bhagavad Dharma, Bhagavan was bound to engage Parikshit Mahar that way. So many examples we can give. When the five sons, when the five sons of Pancho Pandav, they were all killed by Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama, na? Killed by Ashwatthama. Then Drupadi started crying like mad. Like Krishna, we don't know that when a devotee feelings, when a devotee suffering purposely, or uh, purposely, devotees, they cannot have any sufferings. So, when devotee suffering, Krishna suffering one crores, uh, if multiplied by the amount of suffering, one devotee, one devotee suffering something, if it is multiplied by one crore, that can be equal to equivalent to Krishna. So, Krishna is so merciful. But still, what to do? 
what to do krishna always taking the help of devotees krishna always going to preach this way if krishna not going to help take the help purposely bhagwan bhagwan purposely going to make the situation and after that the behavior of devotees we can learn like the case of draupadi she started crying but krishna bhakti is there she is not foolish she realizes that without krishna nothing permanent all temporal arrangement temporary all son daughters husband who is who eh our relationship all temporary relationship nothing permanent so that go put in way so though externally we find drupadi suffering then when ashottama was brought was brought in front of drupadi and she was asked by arjuna that what kind of punishment we should give so that you can feel relaxed then drupadi she told well you leave you leave him let let him go away why because he is the son of your guru donacharya if you are going to kill ashottama then is very bad so to excuse somebody is a great quality of a vaishnavas so though dopor is dopor is suffering externally then we can say this one kind of arrangement by krishna because for a drama like this because for a drama like this bhagwan always going to choose some suitable devotees like parik like parikit maharaj was also engaged parikit maharaj can never make any offense parikit maharaj can never make any offense parikit maharaj is mahabhagavat only to show us the painful situation only to show us you are bound to do it that is why after hearing simad bhagavatam by the request of mother uttara he started speaking prihat bhagavatam mrito what we are discussing right now for the past 2 years i am discussing anyway so devotee is suffering externally no janma karma bandhanam vaishnavanam cha vidvate vaishnav cannot suffer any fruity result or any result of a result of any past activity is not possible there is no bondage for a vaishnav no no janma karma bandhanam vaishnavanam cha vidvate it's not possible but still they are purposely going to accept this kind of thing to teach us like the case of bharat ji maharaj it was one kind of bondage due to that baby dear it was one kind of bondage externally but vaikuntha varshat vaikuntha varsha speaking bharatadi bhakta gan their heart were pure enough only to teach us they accepted that kind of that kind of procedure of suffering yudhishthir maharaj is very intelligent is a knowledgeable personality on this earth nobody is equivalent to yudhishthir maharaj the name yudhishthir given who can maintain tranquil who can maintain tranquility tranquility 
who can maintain complete peaceful situation in front of big fighting i mean where or battle so how it was possible for judishir maharaj to accept this kind of proposal by kaurav the kaurav they wanted to invite Chidi Sharma to play chess. Chess means duta kriya, which is prohibited. But for chhatriya, those who are king, chhatriya, for them it is approved. Papa, it's very dangerous game. If you lose, you can go on losing. So, Chidi Sharma has purposely accepted this kind of duta kriya. I mean chess game. to show in public the result of this kind of activities judishir ma surely cannot make this kind of mistake you see due to this mistake chain wise all other mistakes uh, other problems are coming great trouble finally panchapandav they were sent in sent to banis they were banished ramchandra also can you can we can we expect any kind of suffering can we expect any kind of suffering in the life of sri ramchandra can we expect any kind of suffering in the life of ramchandra who is supreme lord himself but still we find he was suffering purposely he took this kind of track this kind of way to prove in public the result of activities pallo he was bound to go to exile he was you know and poncho pandav they were banished you know this way different kind of problem came in the life of sri ramchandra also in the life of judishir ma i mean panchi pand of this kind of you know and also we know unnecessarily unless without any mistake try to realize without any mistake nigo maharaj this topics coming in 10th canto daruka leela of bhagwan sri krishna one day all the boys of jodu destiny one day one day all the boys of jodu destiny in course of playing they are running here and there finally they came in front of a blind well there they discover there they there they discovered a peculiar you know entity is called kikolas english i don't know bengali is called kikolas it looks like you know i don't know looks like i have never seen kikolas maybe like you know lizard or like you know crocodile very small not so big it was lying down in a well they tried to they tried to help. they they all tried their best they all tried their best to lift that that kikolas but failure they couldn't do finally by the information of those boys from jodurishini bhagwan sri krishna knowing everything past present and future everything so he was it is one kind of arrangement he was bound to come to check up what entity lying in the well then finally bhagwan sri krishna by the help of his leg catching catching that you know entity and coming out of you know uh, that entity that entity by the help that entity i mean the peculiar entity by the help of krishna now coming out of the well but by chance is very miracle 
by the touch of the leg of Krishna, that Kikolas, that peculiar uh, entity, like lizard, I don't know, I have never seen. So taking the form of king, and all the boys, you know, of Jodhu destiny, they go and met. Hey, how possible? One small entity lying in the well by the touch of uh, the lotus feet of Krishna took the form of a king. Then Bhagavan Sri Krishna, though, though Bhagavan Sri Krishna knowing everything, past, present, and future, but still purposely for our teachings, going to ask, Who are you? How you took the form of Kikolas? What is the mistake in your life? Huh? Then he that then that Nigo Maharaj Nigo Maharaj started speaking. Nigo Maharaj started speaking. Nigo Maharaj speaking. Well, perhaps perhaps you have heard perhaps you have heard the name of Nigo Maharaj. Who is, who is the topmost among all donors? Especially Gomata donation. I am that Nigo Maharaj. Ah. Then how you are giving so much donation to Rishi Muni, you know, Vaishnavas, Brahmanas, then why you are suffering? Ah, that is a big, you know, interesting thing. I used to, I used to donate Gomatas with golden, golden, you know, golden ornament. I mean, decorated with golden, golden, decorated with golden ornament. I used to give donation to Brahman, Vaishnava, Rishi, Munis. By chance, one day, I give donation, some Gomata to some Brahman. He gone, he gone to his house. But by chance, another Brahman coming and complaining that one Gomata you donate, you already donated to me. And that Gomata was there in my Goshala. By chance, how I don't know, that Gomata gone to his house and, you know, and the man is, you know, not giving me back that Gomata. It's my Gomata. You already donated. Then Niguma speaking, I am donating thousands of Gomata to thousands of Rishi Muni and Brahman Vaishnava. So uh, it's a very small issue. Uh, I can give you hundreds of Gomata or thousands of Gomata. Let the problem drop because unless you can go, you already requested, but he is not ready to give back. So well, I can in, in exchange, in exchange of that one Gomata, I can give you more. No, I need that Gomata. Then Nigo Maharaj was in problem. What to do? I can give you more. No, I can give. I I like to get that Gomata. Then both the Brahmins were called. Nigo Maharaj wanted to find some amicable solution, but no solution was reached. It was not possible for Nigga Maharaj to find something because they are not ready. That Brahman not ready to take 1,000 cows in exchange of one cow and that Brahman is also not ready to give back a final whatever. Nigga Maharaj is innocent, has nothing to do, but still Nigga Maharaj took the form of Kikolas as a punishment. Now Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to teach. Now Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to teach all. Boys of Jodhu Dishini. He wanted to prove. You see the fearful result. You find, you see the fearful result of Brahma Shatta Haran. Brahma Shatta Haran mean, Brahma Shatta Haran mean, if somebody going to steal some property, money, anything upon Brahman or Vaishnava, what is the result? What is the result? To prove it, follow.
What is the result you see? Bhagavan Sri Krishna, then and there. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, then and, then and there, started speaking. You see the result of stealing Brahman property, Vaishnava property, Bhagavad property. Nigo Maharaj was not at all responsible for that. He was not ready to face this kind of situation. But anyway, do you think Nigo Maharaj, do you think Nigo Maharaj suffering his and or result of his wrong activities? Do you think Nigo Maharaj suffering the result of his wrong activities? What wrong activities he has done? Nothing wrong, but still getting. So, Vaikuntha Parshat, they are speaking. Vaikuntha Parshat, they are speaking. Though Yudhishthir Maharaj is pure heart, Bharat Maharaj, Shuddha Chitto, pure heart, Nigo Maharaj, also Amalashai, no metric contaminated. You know, Baba there with Nigo Maharaj. So, purposely, they wanted to discover this kind of fearful example in front of us, so that our new generation, those who can come, can learn and they can rectify themselves. If at all, some mistake in their life, they can rectify themselves. So, Dukko Dosham Bharata Dayu Yatha Dur Dhuto Dosham Chujudis Thira Dayu Brahma Sho Vitancho Nriga Dayu Amalaha Padar Shayan Sabyabhahar To Janano Ah, so nice. You see, Dusham Dushang dusham bharata dayu. I mean, Bharat Adi. They wanted to prove, they wanted to prove in, the, in front of us, or they wanted to uh, set some example in front of us, the result of Asasanga. Dushang dusham bharat, bharata dayu. Yatha. Dur Duto Dushancha Dudishchira Dayuhu Judishchir Adi all those kings very pious and pure. Why they take why they took risks? Why they unnecessarily took risks to play Duto Krira? Duto man chesa, I don't know. Duto Kriya is one kind of gambling, not gambling, is approved actually in Sastra for Khatriya, those were kings. But I have seen in my life some important men. They are not ordinary men. They have very, you know, rich men. Night time, they used to play card with some bet. Bet, you know, with some bet. If I am defeated, I can give you 50,000. If you have ever do this way, I have seen in my life so many people they become bigger because of their bad habit of gambling. It's not actually gambling, but still it's like gambling. So to prove to exhibit the result of bad asasanga Bharata Dayoho. And to show the result of Dutta Krira, Yudhishthir Maharaj was bound to accept the challenge, I mean, offer. Or, what is the result of stealing, knowingly or unknowingly? What is the knowingly stealing? It, it, what is the case? This is also unknowingly. Maharaj never stole. Still anything, but Brahmasya Haran, Brahmasya Bhitancho, one 
Brahman is so powerful that it purposely or, uh, or willingly, unwillingly, uh, willingly or unwillingly, anyhow, if something happen, that you become responsible for that. Nigo Maharaj is a great king. He never want to steal one cow because he is going to donate thousands of cow. But now, now how possible then? This way, Vaikuntha Bhasha speaking, to show us the result of Asasanga, Bharat Adi, Bhakta, Yudhishthir Maharaj, to show, exhibit the result of, you know, Dutta Krira, Nigo Adi, willingly, unwillingly, if something bad happened, that's why our Guru Bhargo, some of them used to say, Knowingly, unknowingly, any offense I have done, you please excuse me. We know it. So, Nigo Maharaj also wanted to exhibit this the result of result of stealing or taking snatching anything from any Brahman Vaishnavas. The result Dukko na it is written Dushanga Dusham. Dushanga dosham bharata dayu. Dushanga dosham bharata dayu. Dushanga dosham bharata dayu. Yatha dur duto doshancha judishthira dayu. Brahma sho vi tincha nigadayu amalaha pradarshayan sha babaharatu janano. To set some example, that this is a painful situation you can get if you make such mistake. That's why they are exhibiting this kind of lila. After that, the next slog we find, the next slog we can find, our Vaikuntha Parshad giving advice, a suitable advice to Gopakumar. What that advice? What that advice? He is speaking. He is speaking. Bhakti prabhaveno vicharajatvai sanjayamaneno sadedrishaistam sadedrishaistam Bhignati Bhignana Kilu Jeshashiho Sarvatra Te Hanto Hanto Bayam Sahayaya Sahaya Sahaya Bhakti Prabhaveno Try to hear. I am very slowly and speaking. Bhakti Prabhaveno Bhakti Prabhaveno Mena by the power of bhakti. Bhakti prabhaveno mean by the power of bhakti. Bhakti prabhaveno vicharajatohi sanjayomaneno shadidrishvistam vignati vignano kilo jeshashiho sarvatruti hantu bhayam sahayaha. So, Vaikuntha Parshat giving advice to Gopakumar. Ho, ho. By the power of Bhakti, they are, they are giving advice to Gopakumar. By the power of Bhakti, you can always try to understand this kind of analytical judgment. Avirato, continuously, non-stop. This way, any kind of problem can come in your life, but be sure, we are always going to help you anytime. We are going to help you. Different kind of problem can arise in your life, 
by the support of Bhakti Devi, you can come out successful everywhere. Anyway. So, we also, anyway, we also going to help you all the time. Whenever you can remember us, we can help you. Bhakti Prabhaveno Vichar Jatvai. What do you think? Bhakti Prabhaveno Vichar Jatvai. Sanjayo Mane No Sadet Drishwaistvam. Beganati. Beganan Kilo Jeshati. Jeshashi Ho. Sarvatrati Hanto Bayam Sahaya. Bhakti Prabhaveno. Bhakti Prabhaveno Vicharu Jatvai Bhakti Prabhaveno Vicharu Jatvai Bhakti Prabhaveno Vicharu Jatvai Sanjaya Sanja Yomaneno Sadedrishaistam Vignati Vignan Kilo Jeshashiho Sarvatro Te Hanto Bayam Sahaya Anyway, we can help you all the time. And Sri Krishna Chandra Sho Mahanu Kampas Mavi Sthira Tui Avadharita Sthi. We have, Vaikuntha Barsha speaking, we have come to this conclusion. We are bound to come to this conclusion. Ultimately, we are reaching this kind of conclusion that you are the most dear devotee of Krishna. Inside you, we can see, we can see clearly, we can see clearly that you are enjoying Kripa of Bhagavan. Mahati Kipa, not a small, big Kipa. Because if somebody asking how, how you know the reason they are speaking, because you reach everywhere. Shargo Matru, Shargo, you go to heaven. Bhur, Bhuva, Swa, Mahajana, Tapa, Shattolo, all you come. And now, you meet with us in Tapaloka. It is a very excellent place. Very lucrative, very lucrative offer you can get here. But you are not taking. What is the lucrative, lucrative offer? All Tapaloka, all Tapaloka Vashis, I mean those who are the inhabitant of Tapaloka, they wanted to offer you the enjoyment of, you know, they wanted to offer you lucrative offer of Tapasha, this, that. But they could not change your heart. They, they could not change your heart. You never feeling any attraction for Tapaloka or what they wanted to offer to you. Bhakti Prabhavena Vicharu Jatvai Bhakti Prabhavena Vicharu Jatvai Bhakti Prabhavena Bhakti Prabhavena Vicharu Jatvai Sanjayamane no Shadet Drishaistam Bignati Bignana Kilo Jeshashiho Sharvatrati Hanto Bayam Sahaya Sikishna Chandra Sho Mahanu Kampas Mavi Sthira Stoi Abodharita Sti. We have come to the conclusion that you are. Enjoying big kipa of Krishna. What is the symptom? How you can say that the reason Leela 
लीना नो लीना नो साक्षात भगवत दीक्षया तत्तपोलोक निवासी बाई वेन यू वेन टू तपलोका then by their lucrative offer by their lucrative offer to go out of pain and place a very painful situation atantik dukha nivrti but they could not change your heart because inside your heart stability a bhakti divi i mean the kipa bhakti divi is there so they could not change you shri krishna chandra so mahan kampas ma bhi श्री कृष्णचंद सो महानुकंपा अस्मा स्थिरा तय तो अवधारिता लीना न साक्षात भगवत दीदीक्षा तत्तपो तत्तपो लोको निवास वाक्य बाय द ऑफर ऑफ तप लोका there was no problem in your life you didn't think it necessary to accept their offer because you are devotee you like to get bhakti nothing else so is the highest benefit so also inside your heart there is a strong desire to serve bhagwan and meet with bhagwan we know it as a as a vaikuntha parshad as a vaikuntha parshad naturally we know it's quite natural as a vaikuntha parshad is quite quite natural that we know everything so we can understand your situation you are not influenced by those the inhabitants of tapaloka they wanted to offer so many things so we are very happy shri krishna chandra sho mahan kam mahan kam pas ma bhi sthira stoi avadharit asti लीना नो साक्षात भगवत दीक्षा तत्तपोलोको निवासी वाक्य स्टिल टुडे यू हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग डिजायर टू सर्व भगवान टू मीट विथ भगवान दैट इज द सिंट दैट इज द सिंट दैट यू आर लाकी दैट इज द सिंट दैट यू आर वेरी लाकी we you never want to be influenced by anybody we know the past history also first of all you got the chance to sit in the throne of urisha raja also before that in elhabad also you got some offer received some offer but nothing could change your life anyway so भक्ति प्रभाव विचार जात संयमान सदृश विघ्नाथ विघ्नान किलो जे शशी हो शर्वत्ते हंत वह सहाय श्रीकृष्णचंदो महानुकंपा अस्म स्थिरास्त अवधारितास्ति लीना न साक्षात भगवत दीक्षा तत्तपो तत्तपो लोक निवासी वाक्य वेरी गुड सिंट सो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी विथ यू यू कैन गेट चांस सो नाउ रूपम सत्यम खलु भगवत हो सच्चिदानंद सांद्रम योगैर्गाह्यम भवती कर्ण सच्चिदानंद रूपम मांसाक्षी 
मांग साक्षी भाम मांग साक्षी भाम है तदति घटते तस्ो कारुण्य शक्तिया शब्दो लब्धा तदुचित गतेर दर्शनम से हयाबा से ह से हयाबा वर इज इन बलचन टू सी भगवान इज नॉट ए मैटर ऑफ जो सो लॉन्ग एज अनर्थ इज दे इन साइड योर हार्ट सो लॉन्ग एज अनर्थ इज दे इन साइड योर हार्ट वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट एक्चुअल भजन वॉट टू स्पीक अबाउट मीटिंग विथ भगवान इवन वी कैन नॉट स्टार्ट एक्चुअल भजन वेन अनर्थ इज दे वाइल अनर्थ इज दे इन साइड माई हार्ट आई कैन नॉट इवन स्टार्ट एक्चुअल भजन सो भगवत रूप भगवान इज नॉट मेड अप ऑफ फ्लेश एंड ब्लड आवर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ फाइव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नेचर सतोरजतम गुण सतोरजतम गुण गोइंग टू इन्फ्लुएंस एंड आवर बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ खिति अपते मरुद्भम एयर वाटर फायर स्पेस ऑल डिफरेंट फाइव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नेचर but bhagwan his body is not made up of you know five elements his body is sachidanand mai shat eternally present chit chinmay and ananda totally so we material people how we can take darshan of bhagwan that is the main question rupam रूपम सत्यम खलु भगवत हो सच्चिदानंद सांद्रम रूपम सत्यम खलु भगवत हो सच्चिदानंद सांद्रम यज्ञर यज्ञर गाह्यम भवती कर्ण सच्चिदानंद रूपम मंसाक्षिभ्या तदति मंसाक्षिभ्या तदति घटते तस्ो कारुण्य शक्तिया शो लब्धा तदुचित गतिर्दर्शन सिहया सो भगवान इस सच्चिदानंद विग्रह इटर्नली प्रसन्न बट स्टील some devotee can get that kind of quality that kind of quality so that bhagwan become a, an object of his darshan tathapi sachidanand roop yogya indriya ko tik when we can develop that when one devotee develop that kind of aprakita chakshu मेनी श्लोक दियर इन भागवतम जथा यथात्मा परिमुज्यत सौमत्पुन्न गाथा सबनो विधान तथा तथा पश्यति वस्तु सूक्ष्म चक्षुष यथा अंजन चक्षुष अंजन संप्रजुक्त स द ब्यूटीज ऑफ भगवान भगवान ए रूप सच्चिदानंद नित्य सत्य इटर्नली प्रेजेंट बिल if some devotee developing that kind of power of sense organ then he can take darshan of sachidanand roop so all the sense organ and body of that man who like to take darshan of bhagwan when possible when his sense organ become aprakito like the case you can remember me Uh, uh, long ago, I told our Sunatan Goswami writing in Bihar Bhagavat the first canto, first khanda. What is Krishna Bhakti Shudha Panath? Krishna Bhakti Shudha Panath Deho Dehi Kavisrite. Krishna Bhakti Shudha Panath. 
देहो दैहि को विस्तृते तेषाम पांच भौतिक देहोपी सच्चिदानंद रूप ना वी गिव एग्जाम्पल सच्चिदानंद रूप ना ऑल्सो डिफरेंट कैन आर्गुमेंट कैम इफ गोपकुमार आस्किंग दैट हाउ इज पॉसिबल बाय स्टेइंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड बाय स्टेइंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड हू इज दे Who can go out of the influence of three modes of nature? Then two Gopukumar, I mean Boykundu Barsa speaking to Gopukumar. You cannot believe that those pure devotees. You cannot believe. How Gopukumar? You cannot believe. You cannot believe. Why? You say it is almost impossible to stay in this material world, but. pure guru vishnu they can stay in the material world at the same time they are out of the influence of three modes of 100% possible why not possible you see we we are vaikuntha parsha we are coming from vaikuntha we are the eternal parsha of bhagwan we are aprakita we are coming with aprakita body not with material body then how it is possible for us to come in tapaloka and sometime by the order of bhagwan we go to the buloka in this world and we go around and mahajano tapo wherever wherever need wherever need bhagwan always sending us so though we are coming in this material world this Vaikundu Barsha speaking. Though we are coming in this material world, going here and there by the order of Bhagwan, still we are untouched. We can remain untouched. Still we can remain untouched by. Still we can remain untouched by the three modes of nature. So why you cannot believe? रूपम सत्यम खलु भगवत हो सच्चिदानंद्रम भवती कर्ण सच्चिदानंद मीभ्याम तदती घटते तस्ु कारुण्यशक्त सद्दोलब्ध तदुचित गतिर्दर्शन से हया दो नो द स्वरूप ऑफ भगवान इज सच्चिदानंद विग्रह बट स्टिल इफ सम डिबोटी कैन डेवलप दैट कैंड ऑफ सच्चिद आनंदमय सेंस ऑर्गन I mean, all body and sense organ and mind becomes sachidanda, like the slok I already told. Krishna bhakti, Krishna bhakti, shudha panat deho doyhi kavisute te sam panchavatik deho pi sachi sachidan andaru pada. So, don't think that Bhagwan is an object of our darshan. Because many times Prabhupada wanted to explain drisho darshan drusta or adokh adokshajo akshajo many times. Another anecdote I can speak there. You can find one day morning time aruti going on. After aruti is over, some. Devotee requesting Prabhupad, Prabhupad, the aperture of this Natya Mandir is so small. Do we cannot have? We cannot have clear darshan of Bhagwan. Then Prabhupad started speaking Hari Katha. Prabhupad started speaking. Well, we can never see. We can never see Bhagwan. We can never see Bhagwan. it is not possible it is not possible for us it is not possible for us to take darshan of bhagwan rather we can do bhakti 
I mean, activities in such a way so that Bhagavan can become interested to see me. So we know. So by the material eyes, it is not possible. Another example I can give. <sighs> Naraji Maharaj speaking about his past history of life in front of Vedobhyas. Naraji Maharaj speaking. When my mother gone, or when I'm, when my or my mother gone, then I was free. I was free to follow the way of sadhus. When my mother gone from this world, there is no impediments or barrier gone. So I was feeling free to take the path of those sadhus. I got the association of those sadhus, pure sadhus in our village at the month of Chaturmasa. Accordingly, I started falling. So, by walking, 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 I crossed the different cities and villages. Finally, I reached one very nice place. There was a clear, very um, pure pond, I mean clear water. I started drinking. I took bath there, I took rest at the beneath, beneath a tree and finally it was not dream, it was not dream, I was little bit, I was little bit tired and closing my eyes in the meantime Bhagavan came to give darshan inside my heart, immediately opened my heart and started shouting and crying, Bhagavan, why you come for why for a fraction of second? Why you come for a fraction of second? I am not getting satisfaction. I like to see you more. Then there was some aerial voice. There was some aerial voice. The aerial voice speaking. Those who are having anartha for them, I cannot. Give them darshan. I cannot they give them darshan. Not possible. Abhipakka kashayanam, abhipakka kashayanam, durdasho aham kujogin, kujoginam. Abhipakka kashayanam, durdasho aham kujoginam. Those who are not matured enough kujogi. This way, it is not possible to see Bhagavan with this material eyes. It is hundred percent sure. Mangsha kibhyam tadati ghatate tasho karunno shaktya shaddo labdha tadu chita gater darshanam se hayaba. In Priti Sandarbha, Sanat, our Jiva Goswami was writing, Bhagavan can reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense organ. Or, Bhagavan can reserve the right of, eh, Bhagavan can reserve the right of being exposed to our sense organ. Both. Bhagavan can reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense organ. Also, Bhagavan can reserve the right of being exposed to our sense organ. Both possible. It depends upon my condition, my bhajan. Then how possible? Jiva Goswami was writing, Bhagavan is having infinity sakti, countless. Out of that, Chit Shakti, Jeep Shakti or Maya Shakti, we already know. That we know. But categorically, Jeeva Goswami right, wanted to clarify, categorically wanted to show us that even Shab Prakasata Shakti, Bhagavan always can reserve the right of self-manifestation. 
self manifestation in you don't understand follow what i say like like it is a standing commitment it is a standing com commitment of bhagwan in front of naraji mad bhakto yatra gayanti tatto tishtami narada o narad my devotees were singing i myself present there how you present we cannot see you oh ho so many example we we can give you in purushottam kshetra at the time of ratha yatra festival sri chaitanya mahapu dancing in seven sampradaya created by him and at a time seven sampradaya but nobody can see one one sampradaya can see that only prabhu dancing with us each and every sampradaya all seven sampradaya each of or uh, the seven sampradaya they are watching that chaitanya mahapu is there with us prabhu prabhu is there with us not going anywhere because prabhu love us very much but raja pratap ruddho sarvam hote jajjo ha eh? kashi misro they could see <coughs> they could see clearly that prabhu dancing in seven sampradaya follow so jib go say be speaking but do do it is not do it is not possible for bonded soul to see bhagwan by the help of this eyes made up of blood and flesh but still possible if bhagwan like to if if bhagwan like to expose him if bhagwan like to expose him in front of devotee bhagwan can do it it is called shop prakashata shakti self manifesting power potency self manifesting power so it's possible if bhagwan like he can do but still when bhagwan going to so causes mercy to a devotee so that he can see him in that case out of in that case out of affectional mood la full mood devotees think devotees thinking we are watching bhagwan by the help of these eyes but never so it can never so happen by the help of materialize nobody never can get the chance to look of prakito bhagwan bhagwa saru like the case of so many example i give you like the case of brahma like the case of brahma भगवान स्पीकिंग इन चतुश्लोकी भागवतम ज्ञानम परमम गुह्यम मे यज्ञान समन्वित सहस्यम तदंग ज्ञान गुदित मैं ऑल द सीक्रेट नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग माई तत्व विज्ञान आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू ज्ञानम परम गुह्यम यज्ञान समन्वित विथ डायरेक्ट फीलिंग आई लाइक टू इन कालकेट इन सर यू हाफ सो ज्ञानम परमाम गुह्यंग में जो विज्ञान समन्वित सरहसम तदंग ज्ञान गुहित आफ्टर दैट भगवान स्पीकिंग जवान हम यथा भाव यदूप गुण कर्म कर्म क तथैव विज्ञान वस्तुते मदनुग्रह बाई माई मर्सी यू कैन नो एवरीथिंग रिगार्डिंग माई लीला जवान हम यथा भाव यदूप गुण कर्म कह तथैव विज्ञान तो हाउ पॉसिबल हाउ पॉसिबल फॉर ब्रह्मा how possible for bhama but only possible because bhagwan speaking i am going to bless you i am going to give you kipa javanam yatha bhav yadrupa gun karma ko tathiva vigyana vastu te mad anugraha mad anugraha mean mad anugraha mean kripa karuna so so it's very clear siddhanta no complicacy rupam satyam khalu bhagavato sachidanand sandram 
जोगैर्ग्राह्यम भवति करुणय सच्चिदानंदोपम मंसाक्षिभ्याम तदति घटते तस्ु कारुण्यशक्त शक्त शो लब्धा तदुचित गतिर्दर्शन सिंहयावूपम सत्यम खलु भगवत हो सच्चिदानंद सांद्रम जग्वैर्ग्राह्यम भवति कर्ण सच्चिदानंद मंसाक्षिभ्याम ददति घटते तस्ो कारुण्य शक्त शो लब्धा तदुचित गतिर्दर्शन से हयाव so it's clear by now it's very clear now you see vaikuntha barsha speaking by the causeless mercy of bhagwan if some devotee can have the chance to look the sachidanand swarup of bhagwan but still A devotee always like to feel that I am watching Bhagwan. So long as this kind of general conception not prevailing inside your heart, then some abnormal feeling can come. You don't understand what I mean to say. If those brajwasis thinking Krishna is Bhagwan, ah, you are my friend. You can see. So when one devotee enjoying full kipa of Bhagwan, they develop so much in, I mean, so much, uh, uh, kibale, what you call um, uh, intimacy. So much like the case of Arjun. I give, I like to give so many, like the case of Arjun. Arjun wanted to see Bisharu. Well, Arjun is not ordinary man. I am not speaking that. Arjun is Juktatma, Parshad Bhagwan. Still, and now I am speaking this. Arjun wanted finally, finally, Arjun wanted to see Bisharu. Well, Arjun wanted to see Bisharu. But Bhagwan speaking, ane na chakshuna. By the help of these eyes, you cannot see me. Dadami dibba chakshum. Now question can come complicacy. Well, Arjun is devotee. Arjun eternal person of Bhagwan is having materialized. Oh ho! You don't understand. You don't understand. Arjun is not material. Arjun is surely not material. But still, why Bhagwan speaking? Because now Arjun having a sweet darshan. Now Arjun having only a sweet darshan of friendship. Friendship, sweet darshan of friendship. You are my friend, blue zoom friend. But. With this conception, nobody can see Bishwarupa Bhagwan. Dipa Chakshu mean he can develop such eyes because what when we take birth in this material world, our eyes, our capacity of eyes, our vision power so limited. How is this possible for us to see everything? So Bhagwan wanted to give some extraordinary eyes. so the for the time being he can forget is uh, my friend and can get the super power for the time being to watch the infinity brahmanda infinity brahmanda which is otherwise impossible for bonded soul at a time all infinity world bisharu so so 
by the help of this material eyes nobody can see bhagwan surely by the co by the mercy of bhagwan by the mercy of bhagwan if somebody going to develop this kind of you know mood then they can see so devotees they are developing such intimacy the when bhagwan come in front of them they don't like to feel that by the material eyes we cannot see bhagwan rather by the by the mercy of bhagwan they are feeling out of their affection they are feeling well we are watching bhagwan bhagwan coming in front of us so this way follow bhagwan can come in front of us but we can understand cannot understand like the case of chapal gopal like the case of you know a kaji mahaprabhu coming in front of them but they don't understand like the case of a uh, sridhar who used to sell a banana green banana everything in market in the beginning he could not understand every day mahaprabhu used to go to market but he couldn't understand his supreme lord but that sridhar could realize when he was called to shiva sangam when mahaprabhu expressed his bhagwa sarup in shiva sangam then then he was called sridhar sridhar came and watching that brahman who used to come to me daily now he is watching his supreme lord then <clears throat> so it is the causeless mercy of bhagwan it is not our credit if we at all can see take darshan of bhagwan it is not our credit and those foolish people they think we are doing everything some preacher she is thinking i am preaching but is false ego preaching the <coughs> the sole responsibility of preaching is like with nitanand if nitanand can use me as an instrument <coughs> if nitanand can use me as an instrument then i can preach same case from upanishad i told when all demigods expressing false ego for the victory they have achieved then bhagwan para brahma para para krishna appear in the gate of heaven in peculiar peculiar you know you know one peculiar you know shatta peculiar element finally indra maharaj and all demigods they could realize when uma jogomaya appeared in the sky and speaking well you all started expressing false ego that you are successful you all are successful to achieve victory but it is not so actually by the power of bhagwan by the power of bhagwan you are achieving so if one preacher international preacher going to say i am the only preacher ah uh, everybody failure is number one foolish he don't know we can never preach without the keep up nitananda nobody never can preach he is speaking i am the preacher false ego false ego mean fall down false ego mean fall down false ego mean fall down ha ah. so when some devote ayan bhagwan coming in front of them tad darshane gyan drishayivo jayamane api pashyami aham esho drigbham mano bhavet krishna kipa 
प्रभाव विज्ञापको हर्ष विशेष बुद्धि आई कैन डिस्कस दिस श्लोक नेक्स्ट वीक एंड नॉट दिस बिकॉज टाइम कैन नॉट परमिट एक्सक्यूज मी सो नाम संकीर्तनम यशु सर्वपापुनासनम प्रणाम दुक्ष शमनम तंग नमा हरि परम नाम संकीर्तनम यशु सर्वपापुनासनम प्रणाम दुक्ष शमनम तंग नमा हरि परम वाचकल्पतुर्वशी के पास पति तान पावन भ्यो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो